Hey guys, in this episode we're going to be talking about the flash in Rails and how to use it to build some more complex and useful flash messages in your app. Now, I've typically rendered the flash out as a banner across the top of my application that just displays the message that um, that is in the flash. And that's basically what we're doing here. I've just converted those from a banner to a toast class in Bootstrap. So that just displays it um, on top of the current page as a flash, and then you can add the JavaScript to allow you to hide it by clicking on the X. Pretty straightforward, not a whole lot different than our regular flash messages. But what if we wanna make these more complex? Now normally, you are building flashes that look like this. You set the flash type with flash notice or flash alert, and then you assign it a string. And that's what we typically see by Rails. Um, in the redirect twos, there's a helper that it's kind of built in where you can add notice and alert and uh, set it to your value and it will autom automatically set the flash inside the redirect to method, which is super cool, it's handy. So we can set our own flashes like this if we're not doing a redirect to, but what do we do if we wanna build a more complex flash? For example, what if we wanna to link to that comment that we are uh, displaying here? Well, right now it's just going to have the new comment text and we can't do anything with it. The one solution that you can have uh, for just doing this inside of your controller is you can add a link to that new comment and you can add the comment path for at comment right here. However, if you try to run this, you're gonna get an error. And the error is because the link to method is a view helper. You're in a controller, you haven't made it to the views yet, and so link to isn't available in this context.